There is a lot of lovable and charismatic characters in Apex Legends, and Dave, you've been playing perhaps the most lovable of them all. He is. The biggest boy. He is very lovable. I do want to give him a hug, but Gibraltar, I love him, but at the same time, he's a hard guy to love. He's mm. probably the one of the heroes that needs the most work right now. He might be one of the weakest heroes in Apex Legends, as much as it pains me to say. Mm. And that's mostly because he's massive. <laughs> All right, so give us the basics of Gibraltar. Well, the, well, the first thing you need to know if you're going to play him, he has got the biggest hitbox of the it's, game, paired with... Caustic, Pathfinder, they have also got big hitboxes, but Gibraltar suffers more for it. So if you're gonna if you're gonna play him, you're gonna get hit a lot. You expect his passive ability, Gun Shield, to kind of prevent that, but it also has its own problems. So when you aim down sight, you get a shield pop-up that covers basically your torso. But the shield only has a little health. For me, the biggest issue with this shield is it's bright. It's so bright! <laughs> it's like an LED goes off and it's bright orange. If, if, if somebody's scoping into a hill and you aim down sights, mm. bright orange. And there is an option to toggle it off, but, but it's, it's pointless. Mm. You need to be so very deliberate with Gibraltar. Mm. The, up, the upside of his shield is that he can make peaks that some characters can't. If you, if you peek to take a sniper shot and the sniper that you're aiming at peaks you at the same time, you've got an advantage because you're going to soak up at least one bullet while you're gonna, yours is hopefully going to hit. That that shield does give you a little more survivability, but when you pair that with his big hitbox and the fact that you are going to get hit mm. more, it doesn't feel like it's a fair trade. Mm. There's oh. a slight delay to the shield coming out, right? So like yeah. you, that deliberate, deliberate element that you're talking about, you almost have to, if you're going to peak, you have to pre-aim down sights, right? Yeah, always be aiming down sights with Gibraltar, which feels so alien in Apex Legends because he he is a much, not physically slower, his attributes aren't slower, but because of his kit, you end up playing him slower. The gun shield can soak up a little bit, but it only works when you've got a gun equipped. I think the gun shield needs some work, as, work. as does his main ability, I think, honestly, the, the dome shield. Now it's it's a tricky one. It's it's great to give you some cover. It's great to kind of get out of dodge. One of my methods of using it is to chuck it down and keep running through it, mm -hmm. so that they you know expect you to be in the dome shield. It can be really good for helping um, get someone up or make sure you're not going to get shot while looting. It does have some really nice um, instances where it, it, it can be really valuable. But the way I see a lot of people use it is that it's like a panic button, right? As soon as they take damage, as soon as they, they they crack their shields, they just spam it onto the ground and hide. Hmm. And for me, when, when I'm when I'm not playing a Gibraltar and I've I've attacked someone and I can I see them dome shield straight away, that says to me they're weak, they're vulnerable, they're scared. Now is hmm. the time to push. This this goes back into uh, Gibraltar's big hitbox. If you're forcing a team to push into your shield or it's close quarters, you're losing that fight. Mm. Because in those close quarters, if an enemy Wraith is coming in and bouncing around, has a very small hitbox, can slide, they're gonna get the drop on you. And you mm. can't even use your gun shield because you have to aim down sights, turn very slow. So it's, it's definitely double-edged sword. And, and the messaging that I think is in the meta right now is that some people are looking at dome shields as a sign saying we're weak. The best application is actually pairing it with his ultimate. Now, I've, I've talked a lot of about Gibraltar's kit, but his ultimate is S rank. Mm. He has one of the greatest ultimates in the game. It's super high damage, it's really consistent, it's super easy to use, and it has lots and lots of uses. So why don't you break down what it actually does? So the defensive bombardment, you throw your kind of smoke canister and it calls in quite a concentrated bombardment, loads of explosions, anything that you want to just be flattened and disappear, mm. you throw your defensive bombardment out. And one of the greatest applications is using it with your dome shield. If you time it just right, you can throw your defensive bombardment, get into it, and bearing in mind it will cause damage to Gibraltar, not his team, but to Gibraltar. So you can throw your bombardment, get under it, pop your shield down just after that, and that gives you all the time in the world to get people up, to, to Phoenix kit, to get shields, to get health, because obviously they're gonna have a really hard time pushing you it not not only into your shield but through that defensive mm. bombardment and despite it being called the defensive bombardment i actually mostly Offensive. use it offensively in tight end circles it does so much damage if you're catching a team looting 
or stuck in a choke. From my experience of using it and also it being used against me, it's very effective in kind of basically manipulate their movements using the bombardment but as well. But if they don't get out of it, they're dead. Yeah, exactly. So think of it as like a almost like a manipulated movement area, manipula- denial, area right? denial and movement manipulation yeah. ability. For when I when I play Gibraltar, I try to grab an LMG and maybe a, a DMR, like a, a G7 Scout. Spitfire is a great shout on him because you can take those mid-range. That's where he really excels, those mid-range fights. Because if you see a Gibraltar come out, or really any character come out and open up with a Spitfire, that's a lot of damage you're putting down range. But you can often counter that with your own weapons. But that gun shield at that mid-range with that volume of bullets can actually get you enough damage down range to force them to retreat. And with DMRs, maybe with a, a longbow, with like a four-time scope or a G7 scout, it's a tricky one, right? Because you expect them to, to with those sniper rifles, take advantage of a surprise. And you're probably not going to get that because of your bright-ass shield. Mm. But if you're swapping shots with someone else who has a similar loadout, it might make you at least just, just that one shot that allow you to live that little longer might turn the complete fight in your tide. Well... If you agree with Dave, and if you want to talk to us about Gibraltar or any of the other Apex legends, find us on Twitter. I'm at Tamor H. And I'm at Irregular Dave. Signaling an airstrike. Down to nothing. 